Right now, I look like an alien. Hey guys, it's Steph and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all good. So in today's video, we're gonna be testing out River Island makeup. They recently launched a few products, not a full face, but a few, and I picked them up and they were kind of expensive for, I'll, I'll get into that later. Um, yeah, I picked up a bunch of their products and they dropped one on the floor then. Um, and we're gonna try them out today. It's early in the morning. I haven't had coffee yet, so I don't really know what I'm saying. But yeah, they launched a bunch of new products. They're all cruelty-free and vegan, which is fab. Um, and you guys know the drill. I'm gonna chuck them on my face. Make myself look a whole lot better, because right now I'm just looking beige and oily, and we're gonna see how they work, so let's do it. All right, let's do this. So as you can probably tell, I already have my foundation and concealer on, and I haven't set anything yet because they recently came out with a new liquid highlighter. So this is called the Illuminate Highlighter Drops. They came out with two shades, I believe. I got pink champagne, because the other one looked a little bit bronzy. Um, and this was 10 pounds. So not cheap by any means, but not like the most pricey thing in the world. Uh, I'm literally just like ripping into this box, okay. So, da -da. so it says pink champagne, but to me it does look a little bit more like just champagne, not really pinky. But I'm I'm excited to try this out. Let's give them a little shake. Doo -doo -doo. I'm actually in a little bit of a rush today. If you guys think I'm like buzzing through things kind of quickly, I have to leave for a nail appointment in 20 minutes. Huh. Okay, let's try this out. Okay, it's just got like a regular dropper. It seems quite thick. Let's try this. Oh my God, it's like squirting at me. That's what she said. Um, ooh, hello. That looks good. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop some of that on my cheek. I feel like this could dry down quite quickly. So I wanna work quite quickly. Tap it on, nice. Okay, it does look a little bit oily on the skin. My foundation before looked fine, but now I've put that over the top, it's kind of like made it look a little bit streaky, but we have got a nice little shine, but do we have a shine on that side? We kind of have a shine on that side from not setting the foundation. Try this side, oh God. The little dropper's like not knowing what to do with itself. Nose, lip. Okay, let's try that. See? how it kind of dries down after a while. Tap that on. It's basically just like really moistening my foundation, not really actually making it metallic. I don't know, it doesn't really seem to be doing all that much. It's like a weird thing to describe. Maybe it'll look different by the time I've set it down. It's just kind of added shine. Like obviously it does look very glowy right now because my foundation's still wet. Like my forehead still looks glowy right in the center. It's just added like a few little pigments to my wet foundation. So we'll see. I'm gonna set it down. Maybe I'll change my mind then. But right now I'm like, revolution ones are better than half the price. Be right back, gotta feed Michael. You hungry? Here I come. Yeah, here I am. Yeah, I'm really not sold. Huh. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and powder that down quickly, just using my Laura Mercier powder. Under my eyes. This brush, by the way, I got recently from Sigma. Best under eye brush ever. In fact, best all over brush, to be honest, it's pretty good. Spotlight duster. Okay, you've got a bit of a sheen once you powder over it still. That's good, I thought it was gonna like disappear. Just over my lid. It's gonna be a very speedy look today, I think. A little bit of shine still on the tip of my nose. I'm gonna blot the rest of that down. There's like a tiny shine, but like not enough for 10 pounds. It's kind of like nothing really. Not really a fan. Maybe, maybe I'll try it over my foundation, like over my powder. I don't like to do that, but maybe it'll help. I also know this is like, oh no, it's not. I have got another highlighter. I was gonna say it's the only highlighter I've got, but it's not. Okay, that works a bit better. Does it though? Does it though? I need a closer look. It doesn't look ideal, but at least it's like a little bit of a glow. Okay, so it does seem to be better on top of powder, but as a liquid, I wouldn't always recommend that because it can look quite cakey. But for now, we're good. For now, we're absolutely fine. So now I'm gonna move on to the Sculpt palette. This was 12 pounds. This says um, it's a matte contour trio. Let's see what this looks like. The packaging is very basic, I noticed. Like, it doesn't look that overly appealing. Okay, and 
I guess there was supposed to be a brush in here, but there wasn't one, and mine has literally completely fallen apart. River Island? What are you doing? It wasn't even glued in. Put that back in there. Does it like... No, it doesn't even like... It doesn't like click in there or anything. Oh wait, there it goes. Don't worry, River Island. Fixed it for you. So that is what it looks like. That's not a highlighter. That's a matte highlighter. And that, that contour looks very dark. Okay, am I gonna have to cancel my nail appointment? Because I might look a little crazy. It does have a mirror though, which is cool. So I'm just gonna go in with this shade here. I'm very scared of this actually, because it does look very, very dark. It is dark, but it seems to blend out. Okay, that's not too bad. I was like, ooh, I'm gonna have to like push back my nail appointment or something and just be like, sorry guys, that had a makeup disaster. Please bear with me. It's definitely more of like a cool toned contour, which I guess if it's a contour, it's gonna be more cool toned. Blended out nicely though. That did actually blend out really nicely, especially considering it was very dark. Forehead. Yeah, it blends out very easily, which I'm very happy about because I was thinking that was gonna just be like a disaster. It's giving me cheekbones for days, boy. Jawline. You know, I actually really like that for a contouring powder. I feel like I definitely need some kind of like bronzer over the top, but I quite like it. Cool, sweet. I'm gonna go under my nose, go lightly down the side of my nose with that. I think I regret doing that. I think I regret that, but oh, we've already committed. Okay, saved it. We saved it there, guys. So then I'm gonna go in with this little blush shade here. It does seem very, very pigmented. I literally just tapped my brush there. I'm just gonna pop that on my cheeks. Seems quite pretty. Quite pigmented, but it's not too pigmented. Like it doesn't look as bright on the cheeks as it looks in the pan which is good because that color, I'm a bit like, oh wait, does it? Shit, it does. That's bright. This side doesn't look too bad, but we're gonna need to blot that back. Maybe it is a little bit more pigmented than I thought. So uh, be careful. Right, Um, don't really think I have any use for this matte shade. It is properly matte. And it's like a weird, like kind of cool toned, peachy color almost. So not gonna use the matte highlighter shade. These are okay, but for 12 pounds, I think that's how much it was anyway. For 12 pounds, I would not repurchase, especially considering that it has a matte highlight, not a shimmery highlight. And I never really use matte highlighters. Um, and they are kind of like weird color choices for me personally. So probably wouldn't recommend that. It blends out nice. And if it's your color, fab, but for me, it's a no from me, says Simon Cow. All right, so next we move on to brows. My brows are looking very ashy right now, so we need to sort that out. So what I have here is the Redefine. Wait, just says Redefine. It's like some kind of like brow pen. Medium brow pen, yeah. So again, cruelty free. And this was eight pounds. That's quite pricey for a brow pen. Um, so it's like a marker. It's quite a thick nib. And let me just like give it a little wiggle so you guys can see the color. It's not too warm toned, which is good. I thought it was gonna be very, very warm toned. But like the nib is quite thick for brows. Okay, let's just fill this in. I'm just gonna kind of like run that through my brows and do any little hair strokes. The nib's kind of getting like eaten up by the product that's already on my face. Color seems all right though. Not perfect, but it's good enough. Yeah, the product's just like run out on me because the nib's just filled with like foundation. So I'm having to use it like on its side. The pointed tip now like no longer works. I mean, it's doing its job, but not very easily and not very nicely either. I can make it work, but again, like it's it's a brown pen. Generally, I can kind of make most brow pencils work as long as they're the right kind of color. Yeah, like look, if I show you guys again, it's like, it's barely coming out. I have to like full on press and then it's like bending the nib when I do that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go over my brows or something else cause this isn't really doing enough. It's done, it's done enough. It's fine. If you don't wear foundation, this could be fine. But if you do wear foundation or any other kind of like concealer, whatever, it does kind of pick up the product because it is definitely more of like a felt tip. So <laughs> I feel like I'm being so negative in this video. I don't, I don't like it. I'm gonna go in with my brow gel to sort these out because I need to. My brows look crazy. All right, guys, it's now 10 2. I have to be at my appointment on the hour. I'm gonna have to go. Never done this in a video before, but I'm gonna have to go and we'll continue this makeup look 
in a minute, I'm probably gonna put some mascara on just so I don't look completely insane, because right now I definitely look insane. Um, yeah, I'm gonna chuck some mascara on. I'm gonna go to my nail appointment, so next time you see me, I'll have some fresh claws. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go do that, so bye. Bye. All right, guys, so I'm back looking a little bit different because I think when I was out being in like the nail place, I got a little something under one of my contacts and my eye got a little bit irritated, so I thought I'll just take my contacts out. Got my new nails. What do you think? They are super spiky. Like, I feel like I'm gonna cause some damage with this, but I'm obsessed. We'll post a picture on Instagram if you guys do wanna see them. But uh, where were we? We did the highlighter, we did the brows, we did the contouring. Let's do the eyes. So obviously I have already got mascara on, but that's not really much of a big deal. I can kind of work around that. So the eyeshadow palette that I have is called the Shimmer, wait. Shimmer Oh My Orange Palette, and this is 15 pounds, which, I mean, 15 pounds for an eyeshadow palette is fine, but when it's from a brand that don't even specialize in makeup or have no real, like, background in makeup, I'm a little bit, like, it's, it's a little bit, a little bit up there. So this, if I just get rid of the brush, this is what the palette looks like, does look very nice. Um, it looks like we've got three mattes, so this one, this one, this one, a shimmer, and then kind of like a glittery shimmer almost. Let's give a couple of swatches. Um, try not to stab myself with my nails. A little bit powdery, but that feels okay. Okay, these, these seem quite pigmented. All right, I'm just gonna swatch those because that color's fairly standard. And I've only got four little swatching fingers. So satisfying when you have new nails and they don't look like janky underneath. Okay, let's try this. That's nice, okay. This is getting me excited about the palette. Oh, that's very, very nice. This, nice. The mattes are a little bit chalky, but that's fine. We can work with chalky. And then this kind of like glittery, glittery shimmer. Okay. All right, I was actually not excited about that at all, but now I'm like, you know what, this might, this might be my saving grace. So what I think I'm gonna do first is kind of work through all of the shades, see what I can do. Start with that one in the crease, pop them actually on my lids, little pop of like shimmer somewhere else. Who knows? So I'm gonna go ahead and take that first shade just on a little blending sponge. By the way, it does have a mirror just in the lid there, which is pretty handy. Why did I stupid I done that? I feel like I've been like bitten by a zombie or something and my eyes are starting to turn. What if I am? What if that actually happened? Note to self, don't wear contacts when going to the nail place because you might get random stuff underneath and it'll irritate your eyes. Okay, that's blended out. That's blended out fine, having no problems with that at all. I now think I'm going to, you know what, I'm actually gonna go back in with that same brush and I'm gonna take that orange. Very, very pigmented. I literally just tapped that side once. Let's see what this looks like on. Is it like as intense as it looks in the pan? What have you got for me? Ooh, ooh, it's almost like, Peachy. That is almost like too pigmented. I'm gonna have to dust my brush off there. Blends out a little bit far. Like, it blends out very easily, almost too easily though, because then you can kind of like over blend. Let's try it on this eye. Now I know how to make it work a little bit better. Let's try this. Okay, now I know like not to over blend it. It actually blends quite nicely. So that eye looks a lot better than that one there. But again, it does blend out really nicely. Probably will just take um, what will I take? What am I saying here? Uh, I'll take a little buffing brush and just try to like buff off a little bit of that excess. There. My poor eye. <laughs> Blend that out a little bit more. I'm gonna go in with a tiny a little bit more on the inner corner on that eye. Okay. Yeah, that's blending out fine. Not sure I'm overly keen on the color, but obviously it's like down to your own personal opinion but it's blending out absolutely fine. No issues at all. Now, I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna go in with this like kind of coppery rust shade. It's not a rust, it's just like a brown shimmer. Why am I trying to make things sound fancy here? It's just a shimmery brown stuff. Who are you trying to kid? Let's see what that looks like all over my lid. Tell me by the way guys, and I won't be offended. Do you prefer contacts or no contacts? Because I like contacts because I feel like with my silvery hair, it gives off some kind of like, superhero vibes or like comic book character vibes and I love that but I know a lot of you do prefer my brown eyes because I mean if you prefer my contacts over my brown eyes I'm not gonna be offended don't worry I'm just curious what do you prefer this shimmer is going on nicely it's not like the most opaque shimmer but it's applying just fine there's not really much fallout or anything there either whack that all over my lid 
Okay, that looks pretty good. Don't know if I like it with the orange though, that kind of confuses me a little bit. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna take this little denser brush and I'm gonna take the darker shade. A little bit wary of this, not gonna lie. Um, and I'm gonna pack that on my outer corner. Whoa, that is insanely pigmented, what the hell? I literally tapped that once and that's like, that's enough. It's really kind of like, kind of place that there and then I'll probably buff it in with a bl blending brush in a second. Just pop that there, almost kind of like deepening up that copper or whatever the hell color we decided it was. So just placing that color there. And then I'm gonna take the blending brush that I used before and take the first shade that I used and just go back over it with that. Yeah, I don't think this is really like an eye color I was going for today, but apparently this is what I wanted when I first bought the palette. So I'm rolling with it. That looks all right. That looks not bad actually. I'm now gonna take this kind of like glittery shade we have here on the end. I can't tell if this is like a glitter or a shimmer. It almost seems like, it's definitely got like little glitter chunks in it. Um, let me try that on the inner corner a little bit more. Okay, yeah, that's very just glitter. It's not very like pigmented. It's just kind of glitter. Do I like that? I, d I don't even know if I like that to be quite honest. I'm just putting it on my inner corner and just seeing what the hell happens here, but that's probably my least favorite formula. It's not amazing. Put a little bit of orange on my inner corner because I don't have a highlighter or anything right now. That looks okay. And then I think I'll take a combination of this dark shade here and this lighter, like kind of taupe shade and work that under my eyes. Do I try and wing that out ever so slightly? Maybe a little bit. Blending brush, blend, blend. Do I like that wing or not? Can't decide yet. We'll figure it out in a minute. Do that same little combo again. Ollie and I are gonna be picking up a new car tomorrow. By the time you guys see this video, we will probably have the car, unless something goes wrong. And I'm very excited because I haven't had, like, I haven't had a nice car ever, pretty much. I'm very excited. Blend that out. It's gone a little bit patchy up around here, but it seems to be quite easily fixable. Just kind of just dust that away. Give my trusty little buffing brush and just pretend it never happened. Just kind of like press it into my foundation and just pretend, yeah, pretend it never happened. Okay, that's not bad. I don't like the look I've created. Like the colors I'm just like not feeling right now, but the actual quality of the eyeshadows is decent. I think they had like three or four other palette like color combinations. Um, so I like the formula, it's not my favorite, but I do like it. I'm just not sure I'm overly keen on like the orange look that I'm going for right now. Um, but no, I do like it. Is it worth 15 pounds? I always try to not compare brands to other brands cause it's like one brand is one brand, one brand's another. But when I think about the fact that I can get a Revolution palette for half the price with like probably four times, if not more, the amount of shadows, um, I probably wouldn't pick up another one in like a different colorway. That's all I'm gonna say. Guys, I'm sorry, I need a little bit of highlighter because right now I'm just looking so matte and I don't like it. Ding, ding. I'm just gonna do it on my eyes because I don't wanna cheat it too much. Okay, that's better. I'm not happy with it, but it'll do. All right, so last but not least, it's very simple. It's just a lipstick. They had a ton of different colors. I think they had like a creamy variation and a matte. I, I think I picked up matte. Why do they make this so hard to read? I'm pretty sure I got matte, but it's in the shade Act Natural and it is a nude. I nearly got a green. I was gonna do a, like a completely different look with this. I was gonna do like green eyes and a green lip. I feel like I should have done that now. Um, but yeah, I picked up a nude, sorry. So looks like that. Smells okay, doesn't smell amazing, but smells all right. Just in case any of you were curious. Um, let's put that there. Nice. Doesn't look matte though. Did I get a matte? Oh, I, I don't even bloody know anymore. Let's just put it on my face. Okay, very creamy, quite pigmented. Yeah, this definitely isn't a matte lipstick, but that's fine. I mean, it's a nice color. Packaging is all right. A little bit cheapy. Um, don't think I said the price of this either. This is 10 pounds. 10 pounds is like two thirds the price of a MAC lipstick. I'd probably rather save up the extra like five or so and get a matte lipstick or I'd probably rather just spend like three quid and get like a bunch of revolution lipsticks. Just saying. I like it, I'm just 10 pounds for like a finish I'm not in love with, packaging I'm not in love with, it's not the most sturdy. Like I feel like if this was in your handbag, kind of one twist and it just kind of like comes loose. Even though it's magnetized, it's not like 
strongly magnetized. I feel like if they made the price lower, maybe, but for £10, no, you can get much better lipsticks for much cheaper. Sorry, River Island. I'm just gonna quickly line my lips as well, just to finish up. Just using this lip liner from NYX. I mean, it looks better now I've got lip liner on, but I'm still not really in love with the finish. I don't like my face right now. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look and I'm not really into it. Like, mm. let's quickly run through all the products because obviously we only tried out five things today. The eyeshadow palette is probably the best thing I tried. Just not in love with this little color combo, um, but it does blend out fine. I just, I just don't really like like the bright orange, to be honest. It kind of comes out a bit more peachy. Contouring palette, fine but quite expensive, especially considering you don't have like a shimmery highlight, which I know a lot of you would rather have than a matte one. And the shades are a little bit weird. Um, they don't have any other like color combinations Like they don't have light, medium, dark or anything. It's just like one size fits all. Um, and I think on anyone fairer than me, this could look a little bit crazy, especially this blush. They blend out fine. The products are fine. Packaging was a little bit whack because we literally saw it like fall apart in my hands but it's okay. Um, highlighter, fine. But again, you can find so many products now in the drugstore that are better than this and more affordable. It just didn't really, like now it's all powdered down and everything. There's just not really much of like a shine. Um, and actually we even put some of that on top of my powder as well. And you can see it didn't really, didn't really do much. Okay, let's add some more negativity. The lipstick, it's, it's fine. It's nice. It's it's just nice. It's like nothing nothing to brag about. <laughs> it's expensive. Um, and then the brow pen. I just didn't like it to be honest. I don't even know where I put it. There it is. Didn't like it because it just completely died. Um, I'll do a close up for you guys in a second. But you can see like if I try to draw on my hand again, it only picks up the color sometimes because the nib is just a little bit messed up after going through my brows with like foundation on and everything. So yeah. Overall, River Island makeup? Nah. So guys, if you enjoyed this video and if you did find it helpful, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you don't want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. Sorry if this video's been a little bit crazy today. I've been a little bit crazy today. It happens. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.